Here's a look at a palm in my collection um, that I don't mind bragging about and not so much that I'm uh, a good palm grower but that I actually have managed not to kill this thing. Uh, this is Cocothrinax macroglossa and you'll usually see azul um, at the end of that uh, as a, uh, I don't know if it's subspecies or cultivar, but that's usually the a tag that hangs onto the end of the name. Um, and I, I'm proud of it because I, I've had four of these, I think, in my collection, and I think at least three of them hit the ground, uh, and they all died. And this one's hung in for, uh, I was going back, I think 2011 I purchased these palms in three gallons from Zills down in uh, Lake Worth slash Boynton Beach. And um, this went into the ground, I believe, 2014. And I had others in the ground that went in around 2012. Um, and here's the tag actually still hanging around from, from Zills. I don't know if you can see that or read it. But they, they just tagged it as uh, Macroglossa. Um, and the Azul part uh, may not express itself in my yard. I, I don't have the uh, serpentine conditions. Uh, that may be necessary for it to express that really nice, deep sort of Bismarckia, Glaucusy, silver, blue, green. Uh, that the the you know if you Google the name, you'll see those show up, or even on Toby's uh, picture and rare palm seeds. This is more of just a normal green uh, color here, what whatever normal is. Uh, so anyway, Cocothron X, Macroglossa, and. Uh, we could say Azul, I guess, um, that's actually, I've managed not to kill. Uh, you can see the trunk is just starting to form here, and it's got that classic webbing that I love about Cocothrion X, uh, especially these harder, leafed, denser leafed uh, Cocothrion X. So, uh, and uh, you know, if I keep making videos for the next few years, I'll do an update on this, but it has grown uh, quite a bit since it's since I brought it home in 2011 and since I planted it two years ago, two and a half years ago. Uh, it's definitely putting on speed as as Cocothrinex, uh, relative to, to Cocothrinex speed. So anyway, there's a look at that and uh, we'll hope it just stays alive. It's got a mango over it that'll keep it from freezing. Uh, the mango would be a nice canopy uh, to protect it there.